All right. Hi, Solon Chemistry. This is going to be a demonstration of the flame test. Uh, this is a lab that we're doing to start unit three. And before I get started, I'm going to use my nichrome wire. I'm going to dip it in some nitric acid. And the reason I'm going to do that before and actually after each um, metal that I test is to make sure that it's clean. It's to get rid of any contaminations. It's to make sure that any of the metal ion I previously tested is no longer present on my little loop. So you want to observe carefully. You want to watch the first couple of seconds of the flame test for each metal for that distinctive flame. Let's start with barium, Ba2+. Now it's just the orange of the wire. Let's try again with barium. Okay, notice it was kind of that initial yellowish color. All right, next up we have calcium. Oh, ignore that green, that green was not supposed to be there. Let's try a little more calcium. Okay, calcium kind of had that reddish orange color. Next up is copper. Ooh, very distinctive green there for copper. Show that again. Ooh, yeah, copper's easy to see. Okay. Again, use that nitric acid to clean off my nichrome wire, make sure it's all good. Yeah, see, we still got some copper on there, so I should probably clean that again. Next up, potassium. Potassium can be hard to see, so again, watch initially. Okay, that wasn't bad. We had some purple, we had some violet in there. There we go, let's try again with more potassium. Oh yeah, purple and violet right at the beginning. Looks very nice there. Let's get to lithium. Here is lithium. Okay, not the green, that's copper. That shouldn't be there. I wonder if my nitric acid is a little bit contaminated now. Let's try again with lithium. Yeah, the red color. Oh, look at that red there at the very beginning. That is lovely for lithium. Yes, that's what we like for lithium. Good. cleaning my nichrome wire between each use. Clearly I need to burn off some of those substances. I need to put it back in that nitric acid a little bit. And last element, strontium. Oh, kind of a reddish for strontium. I realize I skipped an element. I'll come back to sodium, don't worry. Strontium, again, good reddish color there. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, kind of a lighter red than lithium was. Lithium was more of a darker red. And let's come back to our friend sodium real quick here. Again, sodium is kind of a tough one to see. I'm gonna look for that initial coloring there. Okay, yeah, kind of a brightish orange. Okay, and then the wire takes over. It's kind of hard to distinguish sodium from the wire, but sodium is really kind of a yeah, yellowish orange, little hint of yellow there at the beginning. And then lastly, I'm gonna test two unknowns. And I'm gonna leave these up to you. I'm not gonna give it away. You're gonna have to try to figure out what elements are present. And here's unknown A. I'll test that again. So again, here's unknown A. I don't know if I like that red in there. Let's try that one more time, unknown A. Okay, there we go. And clean our nichrome wire one last time. 
and unknown B coming up. Here is unknown B. Let's try unknown B again. Maybe one more time. I'm not really seeing that color I expect. It's there a little bit, maybe. Okay, it's kind of there. You gotta look real closely. Maybe I'll try once more. Yep, there we go. All right, and that was our flame test lab.